when you learn, teach, and when you get, get. Welcome to Conversations with Verdell Jones. I'm your host, Verdell Jones. Being an educator at heart, I'm dedicated to sharing conversations that inform and enlighten in the hopes that you learn something you may not have known. And today I have my special co-host, Mr. Jeremiah Jones. Well, we always well. love Jeremiah Jones in the studio, so thank you for joining me this evening. Always a pleasure. Always <laughs> a pleasure to come, you know, hang out with you. And politic a little bit and yep yep conversate so we usually what we do is you know sometimes we we talk about current events which you know just talk about a lot of different things but today we have a special special guest yeah. so I'm ex I am so excited this is gonna be a great conversation um, before we do that though there's a couple of things that I do want to mention uh, there's a couple of events and a couple of things going on that I want everybody to be aware of. The first one we'll talk about is um, sponsors. We're always looking for sponsors for the show. So the sponsorship availability for the show, you can, uh, you know, we can say a little bit about your company. You can um, have your logo represented on the show. So if anybody's interested in sponsoring conversations with Verdell Jones, so we can get, you know, keep this show going. Check out, um, you can check out the contact information there. You can email me or Cassandra and we'll give you all the details. Yeah. So the other thing that I wanted to mention was um, there's an event coming up that really kind of focuses, uh, focuses on our youth and it's called the Youth Elevation Awards. So you can nominate, um, you know, youth in, in the you know local Long Island area to uh, receive this award. They have to be students that um, you know may have overcome something and you know they're just really you know good students that have that um, you know I guess that resiliency that we like to see in our students. And that's gonna be at Brentwood Country Club. It's on April 7, 2018 from noon to four. So if you have a student or a child that you know um, that has these qualities and you can see the flyer there just reach out to the information there contact Alicia she's um, on that flyer and you can kind of nominate or nominate a student uh, that might fit that criteria the other thing that I wanted to mention I am so excited I mean like I am wicked excited about this event um, we've been working hard to try to um, you know get authors to participate students to actually apply for a scholarship and that's our Write, Rhyme, and Recite Collective, celebrating young poets and highlighting authors. So we're looking for authors to participate in this event. Um, they'll be able to present their book. They'll be able to sell their book. We're gonna have a professional photographer. Remember we had, um, who did we have? Uh, Brandon, we had uh, Brandon here. And Easy Brandon. Yep, he's going to, um, he's gonna be doing professional photos for all of the author participants. So that's, man. he is a Renaissance man, yes. So he's gonna be here, uh, he's gonna be there doing that. It's on June 10th. Tickets for that or reservations for that are gonna be going um, on sale shortly. But we are really looking for authors to participate. We are looking for um, students to apply for the scholarship. Top prize will be $1,500. And what, what it is, basically students are gonna compete in a poetry slam contest. So we'll get all the submissions, we're gonna pick the top three students. Those top three students will come to this event and compete for first, second, and third place. So we are so excited about this event. It kind of brings two things that I love, giving authors a platform and also honoring um, and celebrating our young people. So um, if you know anybody who who's interested, either an author or a student who wants to apply for the scholarship, again, you can, uh, you know, you can contact me, reach out to me. So we want to make sure we get this show started. Yes, indeed. Right? So like we said, we have a very special guest that's going to be here in a minute. But before we do that, we wanted to kind of set up Right, you right, know right, right. who this guest is so yeah, you get you, kind of a flavor, a flavor right you know I mean? right of who this person is yeah, and yeah. what he's about so we're going to show this uh short clip and then and then you'll kind of get an idea of uh what we're going to be talking about today Yeah, 
Gave him funky music to form. It took a group by group because the standards changed the norm. Well, us is speaking riddles. Our in knowledge is my point. We're the type of guys that break the total different joint. Doing it with a rhyme and a song with a moral at the end. So now come along. Now we're both in. I got a funny feeling. Hip hop here to stay. Hip hop music's here to stay. You hear that beat? That's what hip hop is all about. Communication. It ain't like Motorola know what time it is. Hey yo, rap enhances my chance as a black man to exercise my freedom of speech. Yo, what's up, B? And me, Big B. Even though all y'all have to come from, you know, the hip hop music is still number one. See? So there you go. And without further ado, <laughs> I would like to introduce the legendary, legendary DJ Bilal. DJ Bilal. <laughs> how you doing, brother? How you doing, brother Jerry J? What's going on, brother? All right, all right. Oh, glad to have Good, you up in the glad. studio, brother. Yes. yes. So, uh, you know, I hadn't heard that song in, in a while. And we went, you know, Jeremiah looked up on YouTube and we were able to find the video. And it just brought me right back to that time mm -hmm. um you know so it, it's it's like and we've had these conversations before when we're talking about um old school hip-hop and all that and what's going on today mm -hmm. you know we're, we're gonna get to that yeah, we're gonna yeah. get to that <laughs> we'll get to that yeah. music, music that stands the test of time <laughs> that's right that's, that's right that's right. right that's a whole other thing we'll get to that <laughs> But we're excited to have you. So I really I'm excited appreciate you coming. Yeah, coming yeah. We really appreciate you coming through, man, because you deserve, you know, people to know your story and see what's going That's on right. with you, bro. That's right. That's right. So give us a little um, idea of how you got started, you know, your love of music, because it's clear that you have a love of music, because when you DJ, that really comes through. Oh, yes. So how did you get into, you know, DJing? Well, I'll take it back even further. Mm -hmm. um, I started really getting into music through my father. My father was a big songwriter in the oh, 60s, the 70s, okay. in the 80s. He wrote songs for Wilson Pickett, wow. Rita Franklin, the Rolling Stones did it, one of his covers, Mercy, Mercy, um, um, Candy State, and hmm. Gladys Knight and the okay. Pips. Okay, all right. We were just talking about Gladys Knight. Um, <laughs> um, so he was a session guitar player in the good old days of the 60s. Wow, okay. And he came to New York, he started out with like uh, Jimi Hendrix, uh, uh, Carnell Dupree, um, George Benson, all those guys were session wow. guitar players. Hmm. And he came in and he met my mom out in New York <laughs> and boom, there, there, here I come. Right. <laughs> so he started, I, and I remember some of this stuff, like he started writing with Donnie Hathaway. We were just, we were talking, just about talking about Donnie Hathaway. Hathaway. Yeah. That's, at the wow. time, at the time, he was right. a lead guitar player wow. for King uh, King Curtis, which is like mm -hmm. he was like God bless him. He was like my my Godfather. Okay. Wow. So I used to run around the studio, right, right. So seeing these people and hearing all this stuff right. from a very young age, like two or three, four wow. years so old. Wow. So it's in your, your mm -hmm. DNA. So <laughs> so as you know, I started growing up and. He started getting, you know, getting more into the writing part of it. Mm -hmm. I learned the business on top of it. Right. Okay. So when DJing mm -hmm. came out, right. the first cast I saw DJing was um, Infinity Machines. I'm from originally from South Jamaica, Queens. Okay. okay. All right. And I remember them bringing their speakers up right across the street at the Crash Hall, and I'd be like, Oh, <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like moths to the flame. Right. Flames. Right. So right. The first, really, the first guy I ever seen play was Grand Wizard Theodore. Ooh. See now, I, I'm not the, really the familiar inventor with... of the scratch. Is that? Oh, is that? Okay. He's the one okay. who invented the scratch. Right. Okay. And I, I just it's a little hip hop now. <laughs> he was there, you know, and and, and it was funny. Uh, one of the band leaders' son, he's like, "Oh, I got Grand Wizard Theodore to play at my party," so I, I made sure I was there. Right. Mm -hmm. And he was, you know, spinning back and Doing cutting that. with with handcuffs, and I was like, just in awe of this dude. So right, right then, I knew I wanted to DJ. I had to have been like 10. Wow. And mm. then about 9 or 10. Right. I was about around that age. And then what happened was um, the family got bigger and we moved out to <laughs> Long Island. Right. Wine Dance, mm -hmm. Long Island. And at that time, um, like I said, I, my, my, my first influence was uh, uh, B. 
being with uh, my father used to also play with the Fatback Band. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So okay. King Tim King the Third, Third when that I heard yeah. that like, like, like yeah. right away. Wow. You know, and, and I can tell you when which is the first which rap was the record. first rap record. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So my pops used to play with Bill Curtis and all of them Fatback Band, so I knew about it. Wow. So when I came to Long Island, I used to, they used to call me Little Ronnie. I mm -hmm. used to rap. Okay. Before I was a DJ, I used okay. to rap. Oh, and okay, okay. I used to be like, do, do, do. <laughs> Nothing in the world that I can't do right, with the right, band. Right. Right. I was yeah. like, little rap. Oh, look at him. Oh, yeah, little Ronnie. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah. So I'm, I'm like, Doing getting all thing. hype. Do my little spider D. Uh, do, do. Hey. You know? Right, right, so right. I came to wine dance with that style, with that oh, okay. classic okay. style. Rapping. Right. You were well, DJ. But I was young. But you right. were young. Right. Okay. Rapping. You know, so, so you know, we used to be in this, you know, the youngins don't know nothing about it. We'd be in the lunch table. Oh, no doubt. That beat. was the first beat machine. The drum <laughs> machine right. was that. And we all in yeah. there. Everybody doing their little, we in a little cycle. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first like, drum yeah. machine. Was the Super B, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> that was, you know, so I thought I was nice. Right. Yeah. I thought I was nice. You thought okay. you was nice. Until I got with the Almighty Five MCs, oh. which consisted of my man Teddy Ted as a DJ, Chaos, DJ Chaos was mm -hmm. in there, um, Scully, my man Michael Mitchell, Gerald Harrison, the Almighty G Stro, and Rock Kent. Oh, well. Before he was, <laughs> before, before, what was he called, Kid? He, he was called Kid. Splash. Okay. Kid Splash. <laughs> he had to change that. Yeah. Kid Splash. He couldn't have came out with Kid Splash. Kid Splash. Kid Splash. <laughs> That's what he, he had was to name. That. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Kid Splash. Right. And um, we was in the cipher, and all of a sudden they you're like, yeah, da 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 da, da Super B, give me a da 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 da. I go, Super B, that's my name. <laughs> Everybody just fell out laughing. Right. <laughs> so I'm looking at everybody, right? They they literally running down the street, right? <laughs> laughing so hard. So at me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have yeah. to switch. I'm gonna have to switch something up. Because they was just they was just too good. Right. right. Yeah. Right. You know, mm -hmm. like Rob was a man child at I met him like when he was twelve. Really? Because I was, and he was the same old dude. He was he same was style. nice. He was nice then. Mm -hmm. But he was like in study mode. He was like he would okay. just wow. just write rhymes all day. These guys was really at good. Twelve. At, at, at like twelve. So wow. Uh, I'm like you know what? I can't. So I started playing the beat machine. Right. For doing a, doing a doo -doo 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 -doo. Right. <laughs> Stole my father's beat machine, Doctor Rhythm. <laughs> right. Dr. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Took yeah. that and um, we did that. And I and, and it took me. I wanted to DJ, mm -hmm. but I couldn't get it. You know, everybody tried to teach me. I'm like, ah. Oh. Oh, wow. can't get it. That, that's really? pretty can't, interesting. Can't, that is interesting. I, I can't get it. I couldn't right, get right, it. I right. naturally, the hand-eye coordination wasn't right, there. Wasn't there. Yeah. And um, it took wow. me, I went through that group, and then we broke up, and then I went with the High Power 3 MCs. I was still trying to rhyme. Mm -hmm. With my man Amazing Jay and Chibo, God bless him. And then I met um, my next-door neighbor, husband, actually taught me how to DJ. Really? Wow. He was like, listen, pat your feet. You know how to count? Mm -hmm. he was like, I said, I know how to do that. I can count. Right, yeah. You know, boom, boom, boom. And he said, throw it on the downbeat. That's all you got to do. Boom. Now what you do, you got to mix the two records, but throw it on the downbeat. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 match that beat up to this beat. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, and my first record I ever did was Kano. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you just had me throwing it. That's the pick song, right? Ready? I'm ready? Yeah. All day. All day long. And that's how I started to learn. Wow. Okay. And then my graduating year, I was like, you know, my mom was like, mom, pa, I was like, I want a DJ set. I want a DJ set. She said, well, either you're going to go to the prom or you're going to have a DJ set. Wow. We can't do both. We can't do both. We got One five the kids. Right, Let's right, have four right, more kids right, under you. Right. Right. You the oldest. You make graduate. The make the choice. I made the choice to be to get my turntables, wow. my mixer. My mother bought my first Sir and Vega. God bless her. She she bought my first Sir and Vega with Those a sweet of top. Oh, okay. Those speakers. Okay. Yeah, speaker. Okay. And then Big my joints. pops bought me a pair of JVC um, mm. uh, belt drives with a, a Gemini mixer, and that was my set. Is that when you changed your name? 
I was still super B. You, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. When, 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 did, when did we change the Grand BMC? Grand BMC is when it, 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 what happened was it was funny. When I met, when we met, see, one thing about Long Island, one thing about Long Island, you had so much talent oh back then. Oh my there. gosh! Everybody oh like gosh. like Wine Dance. Mm -hmm. We had so much talent within Wine Dance, but you had so much talent in uh, Brentwood and CI and Amityville. They sure in Amityville. Come on, in North Amityville. Babylon. Right. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and you know what I'm saying? We didn't even know Everywhere. what we didn't even know what Nassau was. Doing. Right. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It right. wasn't no. like you heard too that's, much from Nassau, but right. you, you heard about going. you heard about Spectrum City. Right. Which was Chuck D and them, but at the time we didn't know that. Right. So oh, okay. you, you know right. what I'm saying? Okay. You had Carm, you all these mm -hmm. different places, everybody right. but you had to have passes to go to those places. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. means you couldn't just go there. Show and up. get on right. and show up. <laughs> yeah. Only people I know that used to do that is, is Cats from Wine Dance. Because we didn't, we just bogart. Well, Wine Dance had to rep <laughs> wine dance We just bogart. Right. We just yeah, like, yo, yeah, 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 had we good knowing whatever yeah. giving the microphone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so when I met, it's funny, when we met, first met Biz, uh, Biz was something strange to us. Because he, he could go any, he was like, he, he, you know, he was, you know, I first met him. Was at the Wine Inch High School, mm -hmm. me and Rob. I think that's where everybody met him at, at the high school. Wine High School. I was doing a, a <laughs> yeah. Valentine's Day party, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Yo, I've got, I've got Grandmaster Flash outside. I'm Vince Marquis, and I'm blah blah blah." blah. <laughs> yep. And I'm looking at him like, "Don't touch my microphone." <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wanted to. Don't wanted touch my mic. Right. We good. I'll announce it. He comes up, and grabs the microphone. <laughs> And that's where the fight almost happened. Oh, no. Right. <laughs> and everybody holding me back and everything is crazy. And it, 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 it was, uh, but he was so determined yeah. to do what, you know, you know, he was the most determined dude I ever determined. seen. Right. Yeah. I mean, out of anybody. I don't, care, I don't know anybody. nobody yeah. more determined right. than him. Yeah, Let me tell you something. Right. From out that's in true. Corum to, to, yeah. to Nassau, he mm -hmm. was, Biz was everywhere. 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 Yeah. And, and everywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't even think he had a car. No, he didn't. No, you. No, no. I'm gonna tell you the story. How did he get to everywhere he walked? Wow. He walked. This crew told me he walked from Patchogue to Wine Dance. That's crazy. Who walks from Patchogue to Wine Dance just to practice and come to my house? He was driven. He was driven. That's where he is. So you know. So true. I met all these guys, and what happened was, when I started DJing, I was already out of school. '83. Oh, okay. Pop was like. 15, maybe? Not even 15. Yeah, no, he was like 14. About 14. Rakim. Ra. Ra, okay. was, Ra was about 14. Okay. And what happened was Cool Breeze and the Love Brothers, um, when uh, it, it, he got with him, that that group, which hmm. they was nasty. They was like the top in, you know, in wine dance. Okay. Really, to me, one of the top on Long Island. Because hmm. it, it was always who was the best, right? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, mm -hmm. who who was this? Who was that? But Breeze had the system. There was nobody messing with him at that time. Wow. And um, but they had all the MCs. So after every, it was it was crazy how the change of the guard happened. The change of the guard was like you know the, the older cats they died out like pleasure. Nelson PR, right. Nelson PR, that's all Amity those Bill. guys. Okay. I remember that. You know, they they, they, yeah. they start getting their lives together, mm -hmm. and whatever, and they start doing the music. Right. Right. They got government and then jobs. they come Cool Breeze, <laughs> and, and you know, and all of them, mm -hmm. you know, Cool Breeze and and, and uh, uh, mecha uh, uh, mechanic mm -hmm. back in the, all yeah, those guys a... started branching off into their lives. Okay, and it was, it was just so crazy with me. I got lucky. Because I didn't have to battle none of those guys. Thank mm -hmm. God. Right. Because they went on their way and you was just Right. They went on their thing. way and I was the last one standing almost. Right. So I got, once I started, I got it real quick. I went in down in the basement for about six months. Mm hmm and I came up. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I had, was I, 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 I mean, I was, I was just every. I used to work out. It was like going to the mountaintop. Right. I used to yeah. buy records every paycheck. I bought every record. Where'd you, where'd you go to buy yeah, your records? You? Oh, I went to uh, Music Factory. I went to. Uh, I, I worked right next door to Music Factory. That's all I went. To. Oh, so that's where you went. Right. And this other spot across the street. But it's funny though, because I remember because when we was. Out in CI, we used mm -hmm. to come. We used to go, to, but we used to come to one. To one dance, to one yeah. dance to mm -hmm. Paradise right. Records. Paradise I used to, Records. I used to buy spot. records from him too. Yep. But basically, I was in Queens all the time, so right. I would just right. buy so records. Was there. there. I had no money. 
Right. Mm-hmm. After know, soon as three hundred dollar check, bomb. Yeah, so as you get that cash, record. you're getting records. Wow. Yeah. It got to the point where my mother said, "You know what, fly." <laughs> You look like a bum. <laughs> Here's some clothes. Right, because you wasn't Here's buying none tunes. of that. Right. Don't ever come in my house looking like a bum again. Right. <laughs> that's wow. how right. bad it was. Right. Yeah. You had to have every record. It wasn't like And you now. had to have two. You had to have two oh, every right. doubles. Yeah. You, you know right. what I'm saying? So it was like it was like that. Story. I was obsessed. Mm-hmm. Right. right. So so but my crew at that time was chill. Me and Chill grew up together. He's from Wine Dance also? Wine Dance okay. since seven, sixth grade. Right. Oh, really? We went to school, okay. grew up together, graduated together. And he was like my sidekick. Okay. He was the dude, I'm going to tell you, he was the guy that was so popular. Right. right. He's that type of personality. I had to be with him to be right. popular. Right, right, right. He right. seems right. like that type right. of person. It just rubbed off. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like. I'm going to stick with this guy. I'm going to stick with this guy <laughs> because he, he, was, he was, you know, just that popular. Well. Let me let me let me ask you this: Is what you 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 bring it mm-hmm. up, chill? How did all right? Tell 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 the audience how how did the whole groove be chill form? What mm-hmm. how did that how well, did that come come about? Well, what happened was, like I said, I was the last of the Mohicans, <laughs> right? And I'm doing these parties. I we used to call them dollar parties, mm-hmm. and we would do house parties in my house. Okay, <laughs> but we would do parties like that in a lot of people's houses. But basically, when I wanted some equipment, I I'll, I'll, I'll do a dollar party. Right, they can see. Come out of there with six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. Right. Yeah. For real. Yeah. <laughs> six, seven, eight hundred dollars on a dollar and buy my little equipment and I'm good. Right. So what happened was me and Chill, we had our uh, 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 relationship, but me and Raw had a relationship. Oh. And me and Biz okay. had a relationship. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And it was like to the point where uh, 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 we became like really, we was real, like we was like a crew without a name because anytime okay. I had a battle or anytime I went to a party, Raw, Chill, and Biz, <laughs> and Biz was there. <laughs> right. And when Biz, you know, the crazy thing about Biz is, I don't know who started the beatbox, but I can mm-hmm. tell you, when we saw Biz, we, we thought he was from the moon. <laughs> <laughs> because he was like, boom, 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 right, right. boom, 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 right. boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and we said, and, but the thing was, he was doing the break beats just like how they sound. Right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. And we like, yo, how's, what is he doing? Right, right, how does he do this? Right, so we was all together talent. already. Mm-hmm. And what happened was, I was at the park, Wine Inch Park, mm-hmm. on Wine Dance Day. Right. And um, I was DJing. And I never forget this. Groove comes up to me and goes, "Now this is when the crazy thing about this. Rock Kim had just came out with Egg B for President. Oh, okay, okay, uh. that's a whole nother story. Right. <laughs> Egg B for President came out, and I was in the park. Boom, boom, boom. And Groove comes up to me and asks me if I could DJ." For the okay. Rock Squad, which you was in. Oh, right. okay. And, okay. And he's like, yeah, we just made a record. We on Tommy Boy. You know how I grew up with the hands. Tommy Boy. And da 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 And I'm like, Tommy Boy. Tommy Boy. Okay. Uh-huh. All right, all right. I right, got you. Right. All right. I can DJ, but that, yeah. So, but it was crazy. Me and, me and Chill, like I said, we had our relationship, right. and I didn't want to break up with him. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah. But at the same time, he said, "Tommy boy." Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know that's what I'm saying? No, yeah. but uh, real. That's when making a record, being on a record, that making was, a record was real, right, real, right. Deal. Was a real big right. thing. Yeah, it ain't like it deal. is now, where anybody, right. you know, you yeah. go yeah, on yeah, yeah, YouTube yeah, and you could, you know, it was a yeah, big deal. You had a chance to, right? That's like that's that's you know that's soul sonic force. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Actually, it wasn't. I, I said that wrong. Mm-hmm. It was before Rock Kim made Eric B for president. Oh, okay. right. Because y'all came out. Right. Yeah, that was yeah, that was eighty three. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So um, okay. eighty four. Eighty five. Eighty five. Eighty five. Mm-hmm. Right. So um, once I met Groove, mm. then I met Jerry J. Right. You love it, love it. I met Jerry J. Right. Smitty D and all of them. I never get. We, you know, we, you know. The crazy thing is, I never really even practiced with them. Right. Okay. Well, let me just let me just add because uh-huh. what, what what was going on in the Rock Squad between the, there was always some sort of like a small little power struggle between Groove and Smitty. Smitty. Mm-hmm. So right. I don't know. I was just saying, yo, those, those those were the older cats. You know what I'm saying? They were doing that thing, and they were, I was just tagging along. Solo put me on to the Rock Squad. Right. I, I mean, I say that to this day because what happened K-Solo, was K Solo, by the way. K Solo. <laughs> yeah. K V. Yep. 
Smitty was looking for this for the Rock Squad real quick. Smitty was looking for somebody to make a record. Smitty wasn't really a rapper. Right. His friend Groove, and he was looking for somebody else. So he went to see. I heard about K Solo. Got right. K Solo to be in the group. Mm -hmm. I was rapping with Kevin at that time. Right. So he and one you, you got DJ Plays A. Me and Ricky, DJ Plays A. <laughs> oh, so he's like, you got to take yeah, you got to you going yeah. on my head right yeah. here. You got to you got to you got to you got to take my man in order. So he's like, all right. So that's how right. I got on. Yes. So later on, we we you know made the record whatever. Later on, the power struggle. So I. At that point, I don't I don't even remember it like a, being a breakup, but there was yeah, like a breakup because right. it was just me and Groove at that point. Right. Smitty right. really wasn't in oh, in okay. it anymore. When Bilal right. came in, Smitty wasn't. He wasn't. No, no, no. Smitty wasn't involved. It was mm -hmm. me and him. Right. And Bilal and yes. Nate, really. And, and right and Nate. That's Nate, right. Nate. Nate was doing the music. Right. Okay. Nate was doing the music. Right. And we did uh, a show or two. Remember we, we did, did a show. show? Yeah, we, we did a couple show, shows. A couple of shows. Okay. And um, <laughs> from there. Um, Jerry J over to my <laughs> left, he decides he wanted to go to the Navy, I believe. Yeah, it yeah. could have been. And he no, told it, I never get it, he told us downstairs, we was like doing, I think Dragon Breath or something. We was doing right, something. Right, yeah. I think we was doing Dragon Breath. Yeah, yeah, we, we, was, we was, we was, we yeah. was. And, and, and uh, we was like, word? I was leaving the group. <laughs> so, so when he said that, mm -hmm. no, I that thought he was open. joking. Yeah. And then yeah. Derwin, he came in, he wasn't working out. Oh, somebody came, I Derwin, didn't, I didn't Derwin never knew came, this. Derwin D came in after There was, there was another there person was, after it was Durwin D. <laughs> Who is Durwin D? Durwin, whatever. I, Durwin, I remember you saying his he name. He wasn't there too long. Yeah. He wasn't there too long. <laughs> right. Wow. One of Groove's boys. Okay. And um, I never, I never um, knew that. Um, that didn't work. Mm. And then you what happened know. was Biz. Now he had came out with Make the Music. Right. Okay. Biz had asked me to before Make the Music. He asked me mm -hmm. to DJ for him. Okay. Oh, okay. Before Cool V. Mm -hmm. I said, listen. Wow. We better do something mm -hmm. because right. you're about to. I'm about to do this. <laughs> right? Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, so um. Wow. It's weird. Uh, chill. I never forgot about Chill because mm -hmm. that was my boy. That right. was my man. Right. And I said, you know what? Let me ask Chill if he mm -hmm. wanted to be now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Chill, met, yeah, I brought him over down. We met in my basement, mm -hmm. and Groove and Chill hit it all. Okay. Oh, okay. So they didn't chill. Didn't chill and Groove didn't really know each other too. No, they didn't know each oh, other wow. at all okay. until okay. I met Groove at one. Right. So I right. really yeah. didn't really so you know. Didn't really right. Know you him knew him, but didn't know. Him. But yeah. we had nobody. We right. like down my basement. I was like, "What are we gonna do with me and you?" Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, you know. So I say, my so man, right. you know, chill. He's nice. You know, he do mm -hmm. his thing. He's rocky. He you know. Right. Da, 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 come on. So we did that, and the Rock Squad. We kept the name. Right. Yeah, that oh, was a whole other thing, too. Yeah, That's we kept the right. name. We kept okay, the name. Okay, okay. Because Smitty said he broke up. He broke up. Every, you know, everybody went the right. own way. Oh, and that's okay. why when they came out with the other, because there were so many different, Smitty D in the Smitty Rock Smitty D in the Rock Squad. Right. And me, He was like and Di Chip. Diana Ross in the, in the Yeah, right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. That's why that record came out. Okay, Smitty D in the Rock Squad with me, him, right. and Chip came mm -hmm. out with that. Right. But then. But then. Right. We, uh, 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 what happened was Smitty wanted to put out another record mm -hmm. with some Got other it. cats. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. okay. And that became, he owned the name. He owned right. the name. So we couldn't use the name. Yes. Right. Okay. Now about a year, wow. we didn't have no name. Oh, wow. Really? So what happened was Nate, we was doing our demo, we did Jack and Breath. <laughs> why, why Me and something else, a couple other joints. Uh -huh. And, um, Nate was a music man. Nate, Nate was, was the music. Okay. Uh, he's a, Nate Nathaniel Tensley, yep. a.k.a. Nato. He was like one of the, if you haven't been to his studio, you, you ain't really? doing it. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. I mean, back then and even now, even he, he don't did everybody's stuff wow. in, in pre-production. Right. And what happened was he was working on Uptown's Kicking It with Tony and Ulysses Grant. And he didn't really tell us he was working, but he was working with them. Mm -hmm. And they was putting together... Uptown Records mm -hmm. first album. Oh, okay. Wow. Uptown okay, Crew. <laughs> which was uh uh which was um Andre Harrell's Oh okay. Which Andre Harrell was Doctor Jekyll. Right. From Dr. Oh, Hyde. Oh, Mr. Hyde. Oh he was Doctor Jekyll. Okay. Right. Yes. So so what happened was one he of the He was a big wig at Def Jam at that point. No, well he was a big wig with 
with, with, with Russell. With Russell. With Russell. He Not wasn't necessarily at Def Jam. It wasn't a Def Jam. That was his man. It was, they didn't call it Def Jam then. It was mm-hmm. uh, something else. Russian Detainment or something, something, oh, something like okay. that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, that's when they did the cold crush grooving thing mm-hmm. and all of that mm-hmm. was all that. And hmm. what happened was we, um, Andre said he needed another group because one of the groups broke left. So in order to finish the wow. deal, he needed one more group. Oh, oh. Wow. and that's so, how y'all slid in there. So, so he asked Nate, like, "Yo, you know somebody? Yo, da 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 da." And something? he gave him up. He, <laughs> Nate gave him our demo. Wow. And the rest is history. Right. He's like, "What? Is oh my God! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and we didn't have a name. So oh, even at that point, at that point, we didn't have a name. <laughs> oh wow. It wasn't like he could call us anything. Right. So we before we I never forget this. Me and Chill was was carrying boxes, putting them in the truck in the truck together. Mm-hmm. You know, like working together. We were working, had a little job. We working. <laughs> Next week we in Chunking Studio. Wow. wow. He signed us like that. Wow. Really? And uh, we went in and uh, we did Why Me? But it was crazy. Heavy huh. D, God bless him. Mm-hmm. Heavy D was the man at you know yeah. he was the artist he was up time. he was up, well he was the artist the first artist <laughs> to come out a lot of people don't know this when he started when andre started uptown records he only started with seventy five thousand dollars the whole record label right okay from front to back right, mm-hmm. right. which is no money right right so what he did was i i could tell it because it is, it is what it is mm-hmm. each group got a thousand dollars okay <laughs> <laughs> I say it again. Wow. <laughs> he said he thousand each group got a thousand dollars. Wow. Including right? heavy, including, including, heavy including heavy D. And I don't know what the boys everybody. Did. Everybody. The boys, got, the boys, the the boys got, might have got five hundred. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we all, you know what I'm saying? We young. We like right. Right. young. Yeah. We all young. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? We all the thing was it's to make a record. That's right. right. Yeah. It wasn't we like was, it was like, about. Yes. It wasn't about to get rid of We with right. Dr. Jack or Miss Yeah. Ah! Right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We mm-hmm. made it. That's right. You right. made it. Yeah. So we Big did difference. so let me tell you how it all connected. We met Andre, he signed us. Mm-hmm. We did, uh, uh, he picked Why Me instead of Dragon Breath, which I wish you to pick Dragon Breath. Right, that but, was good. But, but, but you picked Why Me. And at that time, the Uptown crew, they was, we, the way we came in with Chill and Groove, and mm-hmm. that was the quiet one. I just let them fools go. Right. You know what I'm saying? I would just They let had them. personality for days. I'm just right. chilling. They right. had personality right. for days. They <laughs> could, true. you know, you know what I'm saying? We came in like, but we came in with a battle attitude because they right. was from Queens. Right. Oh, okay. We was from Long Island. There's a lot of people don't realize that. Oh, we got no people? respect. Right. Oh, because you were from Long Island. We were from Long Island. Right. But, right. you know, it, it's funny. A lot of the boroughs don't understand that we came from, we came from, from the borough. Right. right. Like yeah. children from the Bronx. I'm from mm-hmm. Queens, South Jamaica. Right. Okay. So our attitude was like, right. We don't care if we from Long Island. We right. still gonna crush you. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If y'all wanna play that, we're gonna crush right. you. Right. That's how all in, in my personality, I mean in my in my experience of watching all the groups that came out of Long Island, mm-hmm. that's how all we, we was like that all of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We was trying on, to man. crush we were battling, you. yeah. Right. We didn't care where you was from. That's what Cash was we doing. Care, was battling you know, each like other. I'll tell you a quick story. Biz was the first one to take us out of because nobody really went to the boroughs. Outside, right. Right. Because mm-hmm. we was, I mean, honestly, we was kind of like, I guess, shy from the boroughs because mm-hmm. we heard so much about them. Right. And we was, you know, listening to Cold, uh, Cold Crush 4 mm-hmm. and Almighty This and This mm-hmm. and That and That mm-hmm. and That. So we was kind of like, but we was doing the same thing they was doing. No, no question. Now, Biz was the first dude that took me, he took me and Rakim, a couple other brothers mm-hmm. out there, out to uh, uh, Uptown. I think it's 201 or 202. And it was like, you know, you had these high school jams, you know, mm-hmm. in high school, mm-hmm. you know, these jams. And it was Dougie Fresh. <laughs> it was Eminon. It was Chill Will, Barry B, the mm-hmm. whole Get Fresh crew. And he mm-hmm. just, he just, oh my God, he thought he was the man. Rise I mean, up to he the just, top. He, he had the curl. No, no, it was before Rise was to the before Top. Rise he, was, to the top. <laughs> he was on B Street with the Jerry right, Curl. With the Jerry Curl. And, and he, he had the fur coat nothing. with a couple of girls. Right, yeah. Yo, he thought he was what? He was, right. doing. he was shining. He I'm was not, the face shining. Literally. Literally. <laughs> the whole thing. 
right? So we sitting there. Hilarious. Never forget this. The person that taught me never to be afraid of nobody was Ra. And he was younger than me. Right. Mm -hmm. They disbiz, they tried to disbiz that night because they was jealous of him. Yeah. They tried to, they called him every other name you can think of. Okay. Wow. Had the crowd, oh, y'all know who Bismarck is? No, that holy kid Bismarck wow. is. It just went in. We went was in like, so Rob was like, yo, that at this time he was called Kid Wizard. Okay. Not Kid. Okay, with Kid Wizard. Put the Not Wizard. He put the Wizard. Put the Kid Wizard, right? All right, so he put a little something so on. He put a little, you know, a little stink on. You know what I'm right. He was like, yo, he was like, I know they ain't dissing my man, right? right. Word? Yo, B, get that in peace the president ready. Ooh. Get that in peace the president ready. And I'm sitting president. there going. So Dougie, he, he comes in the back and, uh, you know, Biz, you know, he's looking at us. We're looking at him. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, don't worry. We got you. Mm -hmm. right. We got you. He's like, he tries to shake Ra hand. Ra looks at him like. Mm. Right. <laughs> and walked off. Mm. I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Why is that shit here? Right. And, and we, it is crazy. We in dead uptown. I got a Long Island's fastest cutter shirt on. Mm. And we dead uptown. <laughs> and they just try to, you know, Barry B, one of the G's, one of the Get Rich Group guys. Put the headphones in my chest. Oh wow! You man. ain't nice anyway. Right. What? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to say uh, now, 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 now you know. Now you're getting you round now, up. Now, now it's, it's on. Rock right. <laughs> Kim gets up on the on the table just like this, and he do he go bump with the rhythm in the bass. Come on, Super B, let's dog the place. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> it was on. Oh. He did the seven M season. And they didn't know what he was doing. Right. Killed him. Because Slayer. at that time. In my opinion, in oh, my humble man. opinion, not disrespecting no uh, uh, pioneers when I say it, mm -hmm. hip hop changed. It started to change. It started not only change. Not even, no matter of fact, no, it didn't start to change. Mm -hmm. It was old. It was getting old. Right. Okay. The sound was getting old. Right. It was like ball, the ball, the dang, the dang, right. digga, 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 yes. digga, digga. Mm -hmm. But we from Long Island wasn't different. doing that. No. None of that, mm -hmm. right. It had a whole You're bunch right. of different styles. You right. know what I'm saying? We had different styles coming from everywhere. Right. Yep. But they didn't true. know it. Right. So when Rod did the That's seven true. MCs in the line, they was like, oh, <laughs> you can hear a pin dropping. Right, wow. yeah. And you know who won that battle that night? Who? Rob Bass. Rob, Rob Bass. Bass. There you go. <laughs> it takes two? It takes two. Before it was, wow, it takes two. before it was that. But we was wow. uptown, so they was supposed to win. Right, but, right. They was uptown. But, but they was like, where did they come from? Right, mm -hmm. right. It was like, yo, he's killing it on the cut. That's he's wow. killing it on That's the rock. Right so there. Biz was the first one to bring us. He mm -hmm. get, if you had Raw here right now, you'll tell you that moment gave him confidence. Right. Period. Wow. To get out there and slay it. To to like he knew he was better than right. mm -hmm. anybody. Yes. At that time, definitely, right. he knew it, and I knew it too. Mm -hmm. I knew I was yeah, good, he's... just as good as all the other DJs, of course. Right. But I just didn't know it, right? Yeah, before then, right? right. Exactly. So Biz, I give that to Biz. Yeah, Crazy. you know what I'm saying. But when we got back to getting back to Uptown's kicking it, that same attitude we took at them. Mm -hmm. We was trying to slash, <laughs> slash every group. every group, and when we came in, <laughs> and y'all, y'all, I mean. I'm, Outside, of course, heavy D and heavy D. Was no, we trying to slash them no, too. No, no, no. But what I'm saying, is, what I'm saying is, the we're rest of the groups them. on there. I mean, no disrespect. I mean, right. well, you know, it. it's funny. Heavy was doing it, but the rest right. of them, they were all right. Heavy was and Quest was good. Yeah, they were all right. Mm -hmm. Heavy was special though because he was, yeah. he was uh, very uh, charismatic, mm -hmm. and the boys, the girls would see the boys. If she was back then at that time, mm -hmm. the daughter back then at that time, <laughs> right. she would have the, the boys pacing all, all over her bed. That's how they was doing it. Huh? Right, right, right. Oh, she would be like, oh, <laughs> I love Glenn. I love, you know, that's. Well, my, my is a big fan of Heavy she D. Is, she loves yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, but the it. impact yeah, that they it. had, because mm -hmm. the thing about Uptown was, this is why we need more, more let's put it bluntly, black uh, um, businessmen. Right. Black executives making those decisions making those decisions yeah. in mm -hmm. our music right. Right. point blank Amen. well that's probably when wrong when when, right. when andre mm -hmm. 
This is what he used to tell. I'm telling you because I was close to Andre at that time. Okay. We all was close. But we used to, I used to always be in the office or around something that was happening. Was popping, right. right. At that time. Listening and, and learning. Yeah, he used to tell us, listen, what I'm trying to do is make a, a, a change young black music, period. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to present clean. He wanted oh, yeah. to be the, 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 the second Motown. Right. Very good, right. right. Oh, okay. Where everything was clean. You notice those groups? Mm -hmm. It was clean cut. Yes. All of us. Right. right. Yes. It was no. It wasn't no. It right. wasn't no. You know. Thuggery it, type of thuggery, situation. No, right. you had to be looking a certain kind of mm -hmm. way. Right. You had right. to act in a certain kind of way. Act in a certain kind wow. of way. I got you. You know these yeah. type to of put things. out positive images. Po right. Positive yeah. images. He wanted to show positive, like images right. within through the music. Right. So it wasn't coming out if it wasn't that. Right. right. And it wasn't. No, it wasn't no cursing. Right. Mm -hmm. It wasn't none of that. If you was, wasn't if, no need to be. If, if, if you, hmm. we might have wanted to. Right. But it wasn't coming it wasn't out. Happening. Right. It wasn't getting pressed. You right. know what I'm saying? It wasn't getting pressed because that's that wasn't the image of Uptown Records. Right. So listen, B. Before we go any further, because because you know we coming down close on time. I just wanted <laughs> to get all this stuff in real quick. <laughs> I wanted you to touch on the whole house party. <laughs> We can spend an hour on we that alone. Hour. I'm going to try to do it quick. Cause it's yeah, so much. because, I mean, that's just a whole... Right. The house party days is back. It, you know, everybody on Long Island, we had houses. That's what it was. House right. parties, okay, right. okay. So, you know, you know, the boroughs had apartments. Right. Or, 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 or you know, or, or, or different and community, you know, centers community centers and, and things stuff. Like we that. had houses. houses right. So you with basements right. and backyards. Right. So <laughs> you had a party going on all the time everywhere. House okay. So but how my house party, I had to think the class of eighty five and eighty six at Wine Ranch High School, uh -huh. eighty seven, eighty eight, eighty nine, they made me. Because they was a lot younger than us. Mm -hmm. They was little kids. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, coming up, like, you know, they shouldn't even been at parties. Right. <laughs> but they came to the parties because you didn't know what was going on. Like, Rob was class of 86. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so was same age. Okay. he was the coolest of the cool <laughs> out of everybody. Right. right. Like, he was just hanging with the, the big dudes, you know, Cool Breeze, Snank, all of these guys. He was always with them. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and he was beyond his time. Yeah. He was like a man child. So, he would, you see him. You know, you you know, Biz coming down there, and Alvin Tony, which was he was like extremely influential in Long Island hip hop. In Long Island hip hop, a lot of people, EPMD, you know, a lot EPMD, of people, mm -hmm. yeah. Craig Mack, yeah. you know, oh, all, you know, okay. he he mm -hmm. he was yeah. it was just just everybody was just you come to the party, right? Everybody was just having fun. It was easy to play because it was it was it was it was hip hop. We right. loved hip hop. We right. it was new. So then and how, it was changing. Like I was saying, it was when rock came. It, it was changing for us before rock came out. Right. right. And when rock came out, it just like forget about Change it. Again. How did that translate into the movie? <laughs> it translated a lot because a, a lot of them. Wasn't crazy that just? Stars. Wasn't well, that just? Well, the, yeah. I'll say this quick. Mm -hmm. When we when we met Reggie and Warrington, which was the directors okay. of House Party mm -hmm. and the creators. We did, Andre Arell put us in a, 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 um, a, um, a acting class. It was us, Heavy D, and wow. Vanessa Sinquist. Right. We didn't know what we wanted to do because Andre had us on the hold because he didn't know what the hell to do with us. Okay. He was like, these guys are funny, mm -hmm. but they have serious, I don't know what to do with right. them. <laughs> Let's yeah. see if they could do something. Right. Whatever, yeah. you know, boom, boom, because, you know, all right, cool. So we up here in Providence one day. I said, yeah, you know, if, tell us about, you know, your times at your little house parties and your parties. <laughs> so that was easy for me and Chip. Right. right. And Groove, too. But right. it was really easy for us. We right. had the yeah. story. Right. We had crazy stories. It's like, yeah, you know. That's funny. Yo, I ain't gonna tell you again to get on time. Yo, you got you got me waiting outside with all this equipment, and you're gonna have girls in the house. You're gonna have girls wow. in the car when you get here. Those are, those are real stories. Those are real stories. stories. That's Michael Mitchell leaving me outside. Right. My man, he come two hours ahead, of, you know, two hours late. And I'm got all these Vegas and equipment outside my mother's house, and I'm like, yo, what, 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 what? right, right? How What's you gonna that? be late? Right, it's gonna be on right. me. Right. right, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Or wow. like leaving people on, the, you know, like like groove with the drunken thing, you fall in the house. Uh -huh. That's what we used to do. We used yeah. to do stuff like that. Right, but 
but the battle, see, Reggie and Warrington didn't know anything about house parties because right. they was two guys that was from the city. Oh, okay. They, they was older than us. Right. They didn't really know. So we would just tell them all the stories from from my, my oh, yeah. Okay. which was winding. Mm -hmm. Dragon breath wasn't because I had bad breath. It was a record we made. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. A, routine. <laughs> a routine. You got we, dragon that breath. That was back when they were from the Rock <laughs> Squad. You got dragon <laughs> breath. Right, yeah. yeah, that yeah, was right, from right. the Rock Squad. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's from the Rock Squad. Right. So we took that, and, and they, once we started telling the stories, at first, hmm. Vanessa Sirquist, right? That right. real name's is Sydney and Shireen. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. The characters. Oh, okay. The characters <laughs> in the house. So, <laughs> so okay. we all, you know, giving them, you know, it's taking this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And they was like, yo, guys, meet us at the house mm -hmm. so we can talk some more. Yeah. And we just started. And boom, that became boom. the movie. And and what, right. And it's a classic. It's, it's an iconic movie. movie. But the thing <laughs> is, I will say this. The, once they got it, we was at our end. Right. We was like, oh, okay. we was frustrated. We didn't know mm -hmm. what we was going to do. We didn't have, really have a record deal. We was with Uptown as management. Okay. Oh. So, so we were like, yo, what to do? So one day they call us and say, yo, listen, we want y'all to shop this movie. The movie wasn't even called House, uh, House Party. It was called Cold Waves. Really? And it was a script. <laughs> yeah, I don't ask me why. I don't know what they, what's going on with that. Cold Waves, right? And I got some of the original scripts. Wow. Where wow. Chill was mm -hmm. play, mm. Groove was kid, kid. and I'm Bilal, <laughs> right. which, yeah. I mean, which is my which real is, name. Right, exactly. I'm big. Yeah. We go to different different places and we actually shop this movie. Wow. With them. That's crazy. That is crazy. We shopped the movie to New Line Cinema. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then wow. they brought in all the And, and they, they brought, brought it, you know, so I, I, you know, not to disrespect nobody, mm -hmm. and this and that, they was actors. No, right. no question. Right, right, right. They right. wasn't the creators. Right. right. They was actors. Right. right. And but what happened was it. Wow. The, you know, <laughs> what at, what happened, what really happened was at first they didn't really like the movie because Top of the level had had bombed and black movies wasn't popping. No, mm -mm. no, no. Not bad. it was especially like teenage that. black movies. Right, right. yeah. Cross Groove and none of those movies. They was legendary movies yeah. for us, but, <laughs> but they didn't make no money. No, they didn't make no right, money, and exactly. that's what it was all about. Right. You, know, you know what I'm saying? So, at that time, New Line Cinema said, "You know what? We gonna give you a chance." They gave him a million dollars. Mm. Wow. To, to do it, which mm -hmm. is nothing in Hollywood. No. Mm -mm. That's like, <laughs> you, know, right, right, right. Sure you know? Yeah. But when we got there, it was a full, it was the beautiful thing about that was, you know, everybody talk about Black Panther. I kind of mm -hmm. witnessed that before Black Panther. Right. In House Party. On that set. Because that whole you, how was set that was yeah. black. Right. Wow. The whole, it was wow. only, um, <laughs> what was it like on set? Was, it was, I know it what? Was, it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> it was a mess. Yeah. But you know, but, we, but the thing, it was a mess. It was, it was a mess. We were just, oh my God. That's young, whole, young, young. Young, what? <laughs> Energetic, full girl, of. Girl, what you talking about, girl? You know, from New York, what you talking about? Girl, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it was insane. What? Huh? Ooh. <laughs> we was a mess. But yeah. the thing was, we had did the movie. This is before all the beef with L.A. and the East Coast mm, New York. Yep. Yeah, because y'all right. did that in L.A., you know, right? Yeah, we did it in L.A. Wow. at Cobra Studios. Okay. Okay. Right next to, um, at the time, Pee Wee Herman. They was doing Pee Wee yeah. Herman. That's and right. they was doing Tango Cash. Okay. okay. With, with Sylvester Sloan. Yeah. We right. see him all the time. Right, right. Okay. We thought we made it. We was him. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, sure right. Y'all on set. It was real. good. So, you know, what, but what really happened with the, why I asked you to, because you might ask me, why they didn't give us the movie mm -hmm. is because we didn't have a record out. Oh. Basically, we didn't, time, we wasn't, right. we wasn't, they didn't want to put that kind of it money wasn't a name right, yeah. behind people who, behind right. people that mm -hmm. nobody know. Right. right. Oh, they, you know, they yeah. was, you know, you know. So that's why they got the kids play. play. And, and, and so right. at first it was supposed to be Jazzy Jeff Fresh Prince. You know what? I wow. just I just read that. Right. Somewhere. And they Somewhere. had a conflict. I just read that. Really? They had a conflict of interest. Wow. Something was going on with their label, with wow. that label. Yeah. With, with, you know, something was going on. And they they had to do it. They couldn't do it. 
huh. and and Kid and Play. They got at the time Kid and Play has you know a couple of hits. They, right, exactly. You know, so they, they and, and so boom, kind of knew they had the little, little character, yeah, yes. little character too. You know, and they re, you know, actually they redid the whole. A lot of the characters they yeah. redid the characters they have, yeah, of because the full people. force didn't come in that character. Those oh, characters yeah, didn't come them. until later. Okay. okay, they wasn't in you know the right, the, right. the original, original. Cold Waves, and it went from Cold Waves to House Party. And that's when it changed a lot of the um, hmm. characters. But how was Robin Harris on set? I know he. Oh was, my I know he God! Was insane. Let me tell you something. Robin Harris was a genius right. was a comedian. Hmm. Martin wasn't funny. No. no. I used to try right. to make Martin me. I used to, it was my job to first make him know, learn how to DJ. How to DJ. If you notice oh, in that movie, my goodness. if you notice in that movie, you never <laughs> yeah. see him DJ. You never see his hands on You always right. see him talking about <laughs> Exactly. Because right. he had no rhythm. He has no rhythm. Are you serious? He has no rhythm. That's a lie. I used to room with him. He used to tell me all his jokes. Because at the time, he was on... Um, What's, oh, happening? what's happening? Yeah. What's happening now? What's happening now? Oh, he yep. was? Mm -hmm. So, okay. yeah. you know, I'm from New York. Right. You know what I'm saying? You better be funny. Right. Yeah. And he <laughs> wasn't that funny. Are we going to boo you? <laughs> That's right. So That's he's right. telling me all this stuff. Oh, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> that ain't funny. <laughs> that ain't funny. <laughs> wow. He would, tell, he would tell me another joke. That ain't funny either. Wow. wow. Let's That's get back to That's work. Crazy. That ain't, he would always be trying to like hone in on his crap. Right. But Robin cool. Harris? Yeah. He had yeah, it. He was just master. naturally. He was a master. They was yeah. actually doing Bebe's kids then. Oh, okay. For Robin. They were starting the script. Okay. <laughs> they were starting the script then. For Bebe's kids. And when he passed, it was like, it was crushing. But, yeah, um, really. It was right after talent. House Party. Right yeah. after, just about. Where, was it? Yeah. Wow. All right, what so. a talent. Man, yeah, we, we, we go, I mean, I yeah, mean, we can go on for hours about, you know, your experience and all that. We we have about three minutes left. Oh. So before <laughs> before <laughs> we we go off, I just want to ask you. We talked in the right in the beginning about music back then, standing the test of time, and music today. What do you and you had alluded to the change in you know music even back then. What do you think is going on with hip hop today? Well, first of all, you got to change the name mm -hmm. to alternative rap music. Okay. Because okay. it's not hip-hop. Because it's not hip-hop. Mm -hmm. I, I it's not hip-hop. <laughs> now, with that said, mm -hmm. the system is put out what the people like. Yeah. It's a young man's, young woman's business. Mm -hmm. But right. at the same time, we, were, we are a culture, mm -hmm. which means that you can't mix R&B mm -hmm. with alternative R&B. Mm -hmm. right. You can't do right. that with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, you can't you call. Mean. You can't call. Uh, 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 what's his name? I was just talking with. Put your. Uh, 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 Bruno, uh, Bruno. Bruno Mars. Mars. He mm -hmm. do a. He he do a, a new Jack Swing record, mm -hmm. and you call it pop. Right. Yeah. That's not. That's right. not what it is. Yeah. Right. Teddy Riley did new Jack Swing. Right. right. So he should get the credit for, for the it. new Jack right. Swing. Right. If it wasn't for the what the youngest got to understand is if it wasn't for everybody before you, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be here. Right. It wouldn't have no platform. Mm -hmm. So you need to go back and understand hip hop. You, they are supposed to be spreading hip hop, mm -hmm. not alternative rap music. Right. Because what happens is we, get mm -hmm. this, we, got, we got the same knock. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. thought, exactly. you, know, uh, uh, you know, everybody thought that uh, uh, Luke Skywalker was, oh, he's talking about booty and this right. and that. Right, yeah. But y'all, uh, he was just talking about having fun at a party. Y'all talking about <laughs> Molly's. Killing well, people. Right. Forget about the guns. I'm totally talking different. about. You talking about Percocet? Right. Got a Percocet. Right. I pop, like that ain't gonna kill you. Right. You right. Or you ain't gonna get addicted. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You have to have rules and regulations. Yeah. It's the record labels. Yeah. It's crazy. It is. It, it really is. When you you had mentioned that a little bit before, they're putting out. I mean, you know, I think it's by design what's being done to the music and putting it out to these young people. Right. Um, but you want to hear something though. I won't disagree, you right? But mm -hmm. let me tell you something. Uh, a great music executive looked me in my face and said, you mm -hmm. know what, Bilal? Ignorance sells. That's right. Right. Yeah, you're right. They don't care right. where it goes. That's right. right. If it sells, that's what's, if that's you're what's ignorant up. enough to go, Percocet. Yeah. And you know the Percocet. <laughs> and you know damn well. And you know damn well you're going to be goofy, goofy, goo -goo -ga after you take the Percocet. That's right. Then you're a fool. <laughs> then you're a fool. <laughs> On right. that note. On that note. 
Uh, I want to thank the legendary DJ, DJ Bilal for being on Conversations with Verdell Jones. Yes, uh, You know, of course, we you know we always have a good time here on set. Yep. Uh, so without further ado, I want to tell yeah, everybody to have a, a good. You want, yeah, yo, and well, yo, put put out some information too yeah. if he wants to. You know, well, there you go. Yes, real quick. Well, I, you know, I can be found everywhere, but I'm getting ready to write a book. Oh, yay. I'm a DJ house party. <laughs> right, right, right. That's my first thing. And, you know, big shouts to the 11798 Wine Dance Long Island. The yep, whole yep. Wine the Long Island crew. Yeah, yeah. Yep. If they want your services, how can they get in contact with you? Yeah. Uh, uh, DJ Bilal at gmail.com. Yes, indeed. And uh, Let me tell you something. One, six, seven, one, DJ eight, Bilal eight, three, DJs two. all my events and turns it out every <laughs> single time. Any Anything I have, I'm calling DJ Bilal. He's done about six, seven of my, my events. Each one is turned out. That's right. Yeah, we we, we that's all right. about turning the party that's out. Right. Yeah, people's yep. feet be hurt. They got to soak their feet. That's the, that's the motive. Epsom salts. <laughs> all right, y'all. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>